Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium Showcase video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at not one but two first gear models in 1 to 50 scale. The first is a Volvo VNR 300 day cab tractor in red and the second is a 53 foot box trailer which you see behind it. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and take a look at the truck first. So let's go ahead and get the trailer out of the way. The tractor overall is very very nice. It has a lot of nice details, including opening hood with engine detail, which we'll show you in a minute, uh, opening doors, detailed chassis, and of course a working fifth wheel. The chrome wheels look great. The tires are rubber. The mirrors are plastic on it, but that's okay as they're a good color match overall. The venting and lights on the front end really show off and do the Volvo VNR really, really well. They captured that very nicely. Uh, one detriment to this particular model is that the the truck actually doesn't have any working steering, uh, but other than that it's a pretty nice model. If we open the hood you can see a detailed engine inside with other components. On the back you have Volvo on the two mud flaps, some detailed hosing up there on the left hand side that blends in with the red a little bit and the chrome exhaust. Over to this side is very much the same. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open one of these doors so you can see inside. They open to a good angle, so you definitely can see a little bit of the detail that's inside. I know it's kind of difficult to see on this camera, but it's really well done. Lastly, this particular one is available in four different colors. You have the stable black metallic, the space blue metallic, the cherry bomb red metallic, this one, obviously, and finally just plain old white. The price of these are $65. The SKU number of this particular one in red is 50-3365. And you can get these directly from the manufacturer. They are still uh, available there. Or you can get them through my partners on diecast forums such as Buffalo Road Imports, the Construction Diecast Store, Roy Ferguson Sales, Ed's Diecast Shed, etc. So with that out of the way, we'll take a look at the much more boring of the two models, but it's still quite nice. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But this does have a lot of issues that I really wish would have been uh, rectified. Anyway, the 53-foot box trailer retails for $40.00. Its SKU number, as it only comes in one color, is 50-3374. Let's go ahead and get into the review here. Now, my object with this review, guys, is obviously I'm reviewing the model as if I wanted information based on this model. So, it may not be popular to everybody, but I just shoot it straight as always, and you can make your own decision from there. So, starting out. The plastic landing legs, as you can see here, are not level, which means they do not adjust. The rear axle is up off the ground. On the back, although it is detailed, the doors do not open on this trailer, unfortunately. But the chrome paintwork and the bumper bar at the rail with DOT striping does look good. On this side again, uh, very much the same. Very plain Jane. Tires, chrome wheels wrapped in rubber. Mud flaps are plastic. And underneath, you have just a uh, simple detail. Looking towards the front, you do not have anywhere to plug in your lights and other lines into it. But the thing that this particular model has going for it against its competition, which of course would be the S.W.O.R.D. Uh, trailer, is A, it's much, much cheaper, um, and it's much more readily available and easy to obtain. So, it while it doesn't necessarily have quite the detail or function of the S.W.O.R.D. model, it doesn't pretend to be, so it has a much lower price point. So if you're looking for just a container trailer for your collection for your 1-50 to 50 scale trucks, it can be recommended for that. Again, it's only $40 as opposed to um, at or near $100, so you can make your decision based on that. 
But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you found this video insightful. If you have any questions, you know where to leave them. Until then, be safe, and we will be in touch soon.